Hey, what's up guys? So today's video is going to be how to make your own hand sanitizer. I noticed when I was in the grocery store, um, I think it was yesterday, that um, I was trying to buy some bleach and it was like only two bottles of bleach left. So people are going nuts, um, you know, with this uh, coronavirus situation going on and no more hand soap, like everything's empty. So it's kind of scary. So what do we have today? We have some essential oils. So I have to figure out which one I want to pick. This is by Blue Spirits. Hey, little girl, you got this from Amazon? Little girl. Amazon? Yeah. <laughs> and it came with, what is this, six of them? And she, tea tree's missing. She has tea tree in the back. But um, they have peppermint, eucalyptus, lavender, lemongrass, and orange. So I'm just going to have to figure out what... I want my essential oils to be. Look, I like this. Look at this earring. Isn't it cute? That is my profession, y'all. That's my main, my main job, right? Scissors and comb. Isn't it so adorable? All right. So, I'm not exactly sure the measurements. Obviously, I need to go and buy some alcohol. Hopefully, it's still some alcohol out there. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to use whatever's left in this bottle. Oh, you guys can't see. Hold on. Let me try to push this back and do some more. There we go. YouTube problems. So, I wouldn't imagine that it matters what type of alcohol you use. Um, this is, you know, the iso, isopropyl alcohol. And this, you know, just in case you don't have, you know, the one you bought out the store. So, this looks like about... Hmm... Almost two ounces. This is almost two ounces of alcohol. So I'm just going to do like equal parts. This is the aloe vera gel. And they're both green. Green, green. Let me see. I'm trying to get to the four. These. Jelly jars, mason jars are number, not numbered. Okay, guys, I got to the four. Look at that. This is fun. So now the only thing is I have to, and I already had um, some empty bottles that I had got from the dollar store, the Dollar Tree. Um... Oh, so I don't know what I want to use here. Now this is the tricky part. I think I'll use lavender, perhaps. Ooh, 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 ooh this is so strong. So you only need a couple drops. Ooh. And let me see. That alcohol is strong, so let me see. I'll probably use a little bit of the peppermint. Let me see what it smells like first. So we just gonna have our own little concoction here. It's peppermint. Uh oh, he got to pull it. To get the top out. Good. Mm. 
And you know, when you're making it yourself, do it your own way. Cause you know, I believe you know the main ingredient is the alcohol. That's gonna kill the germs. Hmm, let's see. What else we got in here? Eucalyptus. Nah. <laughs> we won't use any of it. Maybe I use some of this lemongrass too. Yeah, yeah. I used to love mixing stuff up when I was little. Just make it a daggone mess. That's what I was doing. All right, so we got our essential oils, our aloe vera gel. And our alcohol in there, we're just going to mix, mix, mix. Shoot, I, I didn't think I made a new creation here. Wow, look how it, look how it did. It really fluffed up there. Wow. So this is like a antibacterial, like a hand sanitizer lotion. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. All right, y'all, I'm about to make a mess here for real. It's all good. It's all so good. Wow, look how it came out though. I don't have a funnel. So in the interest of time, I'm going to fill this up and then I'll come back and show you guys. Alrighty guys, I am back. It smells so good in here. Shoot, if you wouldn't know it, you would think that's some key lime pudding or some pistachio pudding. I cannot believe how the aloe vera gel, like, emulsified into, like, this lotion-type substance. This is really amazing. So, I think, I believe I did see hand sanitizers in the store. That were like a creamy hand sanitizer. I want to see how this gray marker, the silver marker, shows up right here. Uh, yeah, you can barely see. Yeah, you can barely, you guys can barely see that. But you want to make sure you mark your bottles because you, you know, you want. Want people to know what's in there. Yeah, how easy was that? And it was fun too. I would say the funnest part is like picking out your um, essential oils. You guys ever seen a silver Sharpie before? <laughs> Anyways, I put it hand sanitizer along the top there. So did you want to test it? Or you're busy, little girl. It's okay if you're busy. Darling. <laughs> Smells nice. There you go, girl. Look how it came out. <laughs> wow. Ooh. You put mint in this? I put peppermint, lavender, and... Well, don't put it on your arms. It's just supposed to be hand sanitizer. Oh. <laughs> hey, y'all. She really thought it was like a lotion. I sure did. 
so impressed. Three ingredients, basically. You know, you choose your essential oils. Wow. Make your own, guys. Make your own. Shoot. Now, let me find out I'm about to go into business. Birdie's hand sanitizer. Now I have to come up with a different name. Yeah, I need a name. Let's come up with a name for this product. Mm. Yes, make your own. Save money. Especially if we're coming into this. People are panicking about this flu virus. Can't find anything on the shelves, like I said. Make your own, guys. That was quick and simple. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what you thought. Have you ever made your own hand sanitizer or anything else for that matter? And I will see you guys next time.